we are going to start a uh, cisco firepower but before start cisco firepower we need to know the history and shortcut not i'm not going in detail about the history because you're gonna be confused to see and search so many things like uh, what is ftd what is fmc what is next generation firewall and maybe you will see sometime this cisco firepower sometime is with uppercase sometime with lowercase and so many things you will see to search this course first of all we need to know snort what is snort this is intrusion detection system snort which is written in c language c and c plus plus language and this is free and open source and snort was developed by martin in 1998 why i'm telling you snort we will go later you will understand why i'm telling you snort so martin mr martin introduced snort in 1998 and it is a open source ips and ids we already know ips and ids we discuss in many courses intrusion detection system an intrusion prevention system you can use snort as a packet snipper you can use snort as a packet logging you can analyze the protocol as well to use snort and it's open source if you search you will find about this snort if you google it snort so snort is still there which is a free and open source snort.org you can see this one and you can use them you can download them as well and you can use as a firewall, as a IPS, as a IDS, as a packet logging, as an analyze, as a packet snipper. And you can use for content matching, content filtering, OS fingerprint, and for so many purposes you can use Snort, which is an open source. Okay, done. And which is introduced by Martin. Now coming to source fire. This is what I was talking about. Maybe someone, when you are searching, you will find source power. So you will say, what is source fire and then what is firepower? So in 2001, what's it, in 2001, Martin used Snort Engine to introduce a network security hardware and software with the company name Source Fire. Because in 1998, he introduced this one, 1998, developed Snort. He used Snort and he introduced and founded in 2001 after three years. He introduced to the net, uh, to the word source fire, which was IPS and IDS, work as a IPS and IDS. And it was one of the top IPS and IDS that time in 2001. So what Cisco done? In 2013, Cisco acquired this source fire. You know, behind the source fire, there is a snort. Keep in mind, that's why I'm showing you this. So in 2013, after 11-12 year, because it was going on top, so Cisco acquire source fire from Martin and they pay them 2.7 billion. That's what big organization do. Like I give an example in many courses, the big uh, fish, you know, they are killing the small fish. So they take on this source fire from Martin. In 2013, after 12 years, when it's reached to its peak, because in their time, Source Fire was one of the top leader in cybersecurity industry, one of the top IPS and IDS, and it was a best solution in that time. So what Cisco done in 2013? Cisco put the Source Fire in his adaptive security appliance, means Cisco SA. They integrate Source Fire inside their adaptive security appliance with the series of X. They introduce a new series and they put this source fire. And also they put this in ISR routers. 
the same image source fire we are still in source fire and later on they introduce a new hardware with firepower 2001 and this series with the source fire so this was the story of source fire so basically the name was taken from martin company and they integrate them keep in mind they integrate we will i will tell you a bit later the integrated version what is that one leave it this version now coming to after 2013 what is could done when they acquire this source fire they change the name to fire site and version 5 they change the name to new term which is fire site so it means it was source fire when they acquire them then they change the name to fire site again confusion so in version 5 they change the name to fire site and in this fire site they combine both the images cisco asa image and also this ft sorry this uh, snort source fire either fire site again i will come to this one so it means in 2013 and version 15 the cisco changed the name now coming to firepower which is today now and maybe in future they can change the name we don't know it's up to them but right now which we are studying so the name is firepower what cisco done in version 6 they changed the name from fireside to which was fireside to firepower in version 5 in version 6 sorry in version 5 it was fireside but what they done they say there are two type of firepower one with the upper case power you know firepower the power is in upper case and another one is firepower with lower case so cisco say that whenever we write cisco firepower power with upper case it means we integrate firepower services inside our cisco asa image because in the beginning when they acquire them so they put a module inside cisco asa extra module you can put them and that module they call them firepower with upper case you get what i'm saying because in interview once i was giving interview they asked me this thing in interview they say that what is the difference between uh, firepower with upper case and lower case so when somebody ask you you will say there is no difference it's up to you why you are writing in upper case and lower case is up to you it's a english word you want to write in so it's not like this basically with upper case power it means that the firepower services was a extra module which was forcefully integrated to cisco asa and when they write firepower with lower case it means a separate image when they introduce a new image with the name ftd which we will discuss a bit later and which is our topic so with the lower case is ftd which is a new image a new separately device is not like a module after the services they introduce a new device which both the operating system was integrated this not one and also the cisco asa image they combine them and they introduce a new device with the name ftd which we will discuss so it's clear so this is call in version 6 firepower so before going to ftd if we come back so old days it was source fire the company was source fire because of morton I told you this was the company name, and new it now Cisco. In old days, it was Source Fire Defense Center, the management system. But here we call them Fireside Management Center. Then that old day they were called sensor, and then Cisco call them as a device. Then in old days it was Defense Center, then they call them Fireside Management Center. Source Fire 3D system, then they say. fire side system and then the old day management device and this is manage device 
and if we go back to this table so in version 4 they call them defense center cisco in version 5 they call them fireside system and the management device call them fireside management center and version 6 they call them firepower system and the management device call them firepower management center so now it's clear to you yeah and the latest version is 6.7 which we will do and we will cover the latest up to now last month which they release is 6.7 so 4 5 and 6 so now it's clear to you yeah now coming to the two devices which we are talking about here that management center and firepower system what is these two things so if we go to this one firepower threat defense ftd we call them a shortcut so basically this the next generation firewall of cisco ftd the sensor which do everything which is like a firewall like a cisco sa you can consider them like a palo alto firewall like a juniper firewall either palo alto firewall either fortigate firewall whatever all those next generation firewall checkpoint the same as they have firepower threat defense which they call it ftd and this the next generation firewall we already discussed in detail what is the different type of firewall in previous courses qsa so i'm not going to in detail in that one and this ftd can provide you whatever the next generation firewall have like ips ids amp advanced malware protection everything whatever and this is the combination of cisco sa feature and cisco firepower snort engine so two engine work together which they call it ftd as a one device it's not like a services and this they call it firepower threat defense ftd we can manage this ftd locally which i create this topology to manage them locally first but if you have many firewall many ftd then you need a device to manage centrally from one location which is called firepower management center fmc in shortcut like in palo alto we have uh, what is called panorama panorama you can manage many devices from one centralized location and fortigate we have 40 manager to configure many firewall from one centralized location and when do we have active directory from where we can manage all the window pc centralized location so same as we have firepower management center if you have more than one ftd and you want to manage them because rather than to manage separately suppose you have 10 ftds in your organization what are you gonna do you will configure every each device separately it gonna be a headache and it more resources and many things require and separately you will manage every device rather than this you can register all the device just like a when we join any pc to active directory the same you will join the fmc and from central location you can manage all these device and their device is called firepower management center it can be a virtual appliance it can be a physical appliance and it can be you can deploy them in vmware as well fmc so you can perform administrative task management analysis reporting configuration whatever you want to do with ftd you will do from centralized location and then you can push those policy and those tasks to ftd and this is called firepower management center now a little bit about next generation firewall because we discuss many firewall type in cisco sa course like a traditional firewall we say layer 3 firewall and we discuss application firewall we discuss packet filtering firewall we discussed many firewall type there one of them was the next generation firewall next generation firewall can provide you all traditional firewall facilities and features but they can give you only three things extra which other firewall cannot provide you 
and those are app id user id and content id these three are the feature of next generation firewall app id means application awareness and then content id like a scanning ips ids so many things are there to scan your and deep packet inspection and the last one is user id you can create rule by users as well and last thing which next generation provide you which a traditional firewall cannot is a deep packet inspection and i told you what is deep packet inspection is like a dna test which they can provide you whatever traditional firewall only do urine test and blood test but they can provide you dna test which is in more detail and and more like a ct scan and more are those type of detail they can provide you this is called a uh, next generation firewall okay so this was a, a history about uh, cisco firepower from where it start and from where it end and what is the latest name of ftd